boys and girls. <gasps> We've got a special presentation today. Uh, apparently, Vosh did something kind of nasty, and people are finding out about it. And now it's becoming a big, a big deal, which, uh... We've all jerked it to Lolly at some point or another. Vosh being nasty and kind of a fucking freak, like... We have, at some point in our lives, been going fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, I don't give a f all right? Shocking. <laughs> Stroking as hard and fast as we can. That's that's really shocking to you people? This has been this guy's whole MO the whole time. How did everyone just notice? All right, but we got to go back to the beginning. We got to go back to the beginning. So Vosh, for those of you guys who don't know, is a political streamer on YouTube. Uh, he's been doing it for about five years now, I want to say. But he's been online for a long time. In fact, he's been on Destiny streams since all the way back in 2011 when his name was Irish Laddie. And he came from the shit Reddit says community, which at the time was basically like a uh libtard brigade forum for uh, bullying and attacking people who didn't agree with their particular progressive slash socialist ideals. And Vosh came from that community. He became Irish Laddie on Destiny stream. He was like a fan favorite. And then eventually he and Destiny had a falling out over various debates they had like about Kyle Rittenhouse and stuff like that. But Vosh has continued to do his own thing. There was a point when he was like as popular as Destiny. That is not the case now. Um, now he's probably less than half as popular, if not a third of that. Um, he's just not getting that many views. He's not really branching outside of his audience, but he's still a pretty big stream. And in the past, he's also been friends with people like Keffels uh, and a lot of other individuals from the sort of, you know, leftist YouTube streaming community, which is just the most beautiful amalgamation of people I've ever seen. I mean, um, they're not dysgenic at all. They're they're really cool. Uh, I, I really like them. <laughs> But I made this tweet here uh, saying Vosh accidentally opening his degenerate freak folder live was in fact on my 2024 bingo card. Where is my money? And uh, a lot of people were questioning what this is about. They were like, what's going on here? Well, thankfully, you have the clip. This was posted to the Drama Alert Twitter account. Influencer Vosh labeled pedo after he accidentally opens cartoon CP while streaming. This is gross. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! So we can see here he accidentally opened a folder that he very much did not intend to open. And inside of that were, I guess, images of like uh of, of lollies who were who were being destroyed basically by uh by horses uh and by like i i why do I have to fucking say this out loud, man? Why is this my job? Okay, so Lolly, for those of you guys who don't know, which, um, God bless those who don't, it's basically, uh, <laughs> it's basically a term that, uh, anime enjoyers use, particular subset of anime enjoyers for, like, little girls, uh, in anime, and in particular, it has, like, a very sexual connotation for them. Basically, they're attracted to the idea of this drawing being, like, childlike or a child. Some people who are Lolly cons, who are, you know, uh, enjoyers of this content, will argue that there's nothing wrong with that, because it's it's, it's illustrated. Uh, it's not in real life, so it's not a real child. Therefore, there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. How can you be mad at it? It's a 6,000-year-old dragon. All other people, you know, uh, say the opposite, obviously. Now, me personally, I would never make the argument that uh, it's equivalent. It's like the same as actual, you know, CP, CSA abuse material because it's not. It doesn't do the same harm. But I'm obviously still going to find someone who enjoys that stuff pretty gross because they're, you know, getting off to the idea of a child and that is kind of sick. Not fucking sick as in cool. Fucking sick as in like, you know, that kind of thing. Next question. Simulated uh, child porn lolly, lolly stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty sussy. What does that mean? I think that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourself as to why, you know, like, uh, the, the thing that really bothers me about this shit, apart from the fact that anytime you want to look at, like, hentai on a hentai site, you have to, like, negate the tag lolly and thus 50% of the site's content. The thing that bothers yeah. me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between, like, drawn lolly shit an actual attraction to children. There's, of course there's a relationship between those things. Ridiculous to pretend otherwise. You know, I, I personally find it pretty, pretty gross. And if I found out that one of my, you know, close friends was into that, I probably would uh, do something bad. Well, a lot of other people had a problem with this, and uh, as a result, old clips of Vosh began resurfacing, of Vosh making various, you know, controversial points, and these are all making their way out of the woodwork on Twitter because people think that he's kind of a f***ing creep, right? They think he's kind of a degenerate guy. Also, what's up with the horse thing? Why is it a horse? Thankfully, Vosh will explain that for us in a little bit. Here we have this tweet saying, Vosh needs to be locked up. Broking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, I don't get Give a f all right i still think that like um zoo file and like drawn stuff it should be 100 legal in fact and this is going to be a real hot take i have yet to hear a convincing moral 
or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. It is wow, <laughs> that was a crazy one. It's possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. That is possible. What if CP is free? If you're not paying for child pornography, then there is no argument in favor of morally condemning people who get it. Chaos, five bucks. So would you say that people who purchase child are just as bad as the people who sell it? No. <laughs> no. Not, not even slightly. I don't think that you should morally impugn anyone who purchases child for the same reason I wouldn't want to be morally impugned for buying clothing from companies that, like, use slave labor to do so. Um, however, those who produce and sell the child that is an entirely different question. When I was a kid, I was having sex with other kids. Lots of it. Gross, gross sex. More than you'll ever imagine. And it was great. And it wasn't wrong or bad. And nobody regrets it. So, I mean, I think we can see from some of these clips that Vosh is a pretty pretty strange guy. He's got some strange opinions. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to run into him walking down the street. You probably wouldn't want uh, your niece or nephew trusted with him, frankly, just because he's willing to espouse this so proudly on the internet. Now, to be clear, I personally don't think lolly should be illegal because I think it's just kind of a slippery slope to making other things illegal, you know? Um, I think that banning drawings is kind of tough, you know? That being said, I think it's really gross. I think it's really disgusting. And once again, like, I just, I, I don't feel comfortable around people who are into that kind of thing. I think they're f***ing freaks, okay? But as for some of those other clips, I mean, those are way worse. And they seem to be him talking about actual CP and talking about how it should be legal or something like that. Or like, there's nothing morally wrong with owning CP. What? What? I mean, it's honestly surprising that these clips have been around this long and haven't really been talked about. Like, I've been seeing these for fucking years, right? I've known about these for years, uh, since back in the day, because that's when Vosh was really crazy. You notice, a lot of these clips are of Fat Vosh. Recently, he's gotten more skinny, but he used to be really Fat Vosh, and that's when he was going really crazy on YouTube when he was coming up. Now, he's a lot more... <sighs> Now he's a lot more PC, he's a lot more kind of YouTube friendly, and he kind of, you know, hangs away from the more edgy stuff. Uh, and you know, some of that edgy stuff was Vosh saying the N-word, which is dopeness. I want to like your videos, but every time you, someone says, like, the N-word, and you're like, wow, this guy, be, this guy might be based. I can't, I, I have to turn it off. I, I, it's not even that I'm, like, some, like, turbo liberal who's, like, upset. It's just really cringe. Like, you're not cool. You're not fighting against some, like, f***ing network of SJWs. It's no longer 2016. So, you know, like, put it that way. But you have time to change. You have time to change. Tur turkey time, you have time to change. Please. Please consider the error of your ways. In, like, in, like, three years, you're gonna look back on all this shit, and you're gonna be, like, cringe, cringe, and it's gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna heal. You're gonna heal. But, uh, some of it is also Vosh talking about how owning child is apparently not a bad thing, which is crazy. Now, it's possible that some of these clips were out of context. Um, I will say that last video of him talking about when he was a kid, he was doing stuff with kids and how there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I guess technically he's kind of right. Like if you're in high school and you're doing that with a high schooler, there's nothing really wrong with that. Like, I don't really care. But the way that he says it is so feel like <laughs> like have you ever heard someone say something that like isn't necessarily an indictment of their character but they just kind of say it like a file have you guys heard someone say that before that's what i feel like i'm experiencing right now with vosh and uh, a lot of other people are also experiencing the same exact thing and once again never mind the other clips of him right now we've also got people like wap goblin whoever this person is emma 23 marxist creator of the woke mind virus lenin silliest soldier miners dni she slash her this seems like a great shining shining young individual um proud 23 year old person you know what they've accomplished a lot in their life but uh they are currently on vosh uh they said hey vosh remember when you said you didn't care if professor flowers killed herself because of your harassment no idea who professor flowers is then wap says remember when you said that you wanted to scare poppy into shutting up for being the victim of your threats how does karma feel horse now, what he's talking about here with Poppy is part of the reason he left Destiny's community back in the day for a little bit was because uh, he was accused of sexual harassment over Discord, basically, and he later had to basically admit to it on live stream, uh, and it was kind of a big event. We'll play a clip of it right here. So from your goal, I think you understand that there are messages here that are totally unacceptable. So what we're trying to use, we're trying to use context to ease, um, to, to, or to, to kind of ease like the, the, the sting of some of these messages. But think, like for like a series of messages, like, I know you want to see my dick, but you're a spiteful and I know you'd share my dick pics around, even though it's in the exact upper spectrum of your preferred dick size range, right? For messages like these, it's pretty clear that you already know that this person doesn't like you, but you're still making these like highly sexual advances. Even after they've explicitly, like continually not engaged with anything you've said. Why? Yeah. 
Um, okay, uh, yeah, For in regards to that specifically, I think I remember the specific interaction. The reasons for that were because in public D.GG, so in, in not in DMs, um, Poppy was making posts which were alternatively critical and weirdly praising him. Not flirtatious necessarily, but they made comments about how it was something along the lines of like, I wouldn't even mind you or something like that. And I was really angry about this because this is the same person who had for a month, a period of months prior, had accused me of engaging in sexual harassment harassment, sending nudes, even though I have never sent a nude to Poppy in my entire Wait, life. Wait, so do you think that if somebody says that they wouldn't necessarily mind you physically, that that's like carte blanche then to go ahead and launch into full, like, dick pic invitation to raids and DMs, or? I, I never, uh, uh, never once in the entire time that I spoke with Poppy did I send Poppy a dick pic. In that specific conversation, I was frustrated with Poppy because it seemed like after months of them calling me a rapist, they were then making weirdly kind of like, oh, he's not bad comments, which frustrated me. So I said, like, hey, you if i sent you a dick pic you just leak it and use it as more evidence against me um given the context and given that prior she'd spent months harassing hold me, on whoa ho, 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 no, ho. okay i don't know if you normally talk to people with a lot of social problems but you're lying to me okay when you, so you very me. very very clearly in this conversation are looking with some sort of sexual reciprocation this is not something wait, that you're saying wait, let me find the image am i hold on maybe i'm thinking of the wrong image hold the on. So now that we've brought the sexual tension up to a simmering level in here, I know what you're thinking. And then she doesn't engage and talks about Trump. And then you immediately re-engage sexually and say, I know you want to see my dick pic. Like, this is not like... Oh, um, I see. Let me see. And then when you um, go, and then no, when you hit it up afterwards with the prove to me and I can trust you, right? Where you're trying to bait out her sending nudes to you. Um, and then at the and then in the next message where you continue to say that, like, I know that you enjoy these conversations. These are not the messages of somebody that's being incredibly spiteful because they're upset somebody said something in Discord. This is you hardcore trying to manipulate somebody into sending you nude pictures. This is like, there's no oh, other reading of this. I, like... I, I I suppose I disagree. I never in my life wanted nor expected nude pictures from Poppy. Uh, she doesn't seem to be into me or into that. But yeah, I mean, it was a pretty kind of dark time for him as a content creator. And this Poppy person is the person he was messaging on Discord. You guys can look more into that if you want. Now, I ended up making this tweet saying the Lollicon community is in shambles. It was kind of just like a meme tweet, didn't really mean anything. But then I instantly got like a ton of lollicons in my replies talking about it these guys are like very proud people okay anytime you talk about like the existence of lolly or just mention it or if you say you don't like it uh you instantly will have hundreds of replies from these people trying to debate you and argue with you about well actually it's not actually a real thing and like dude just stop like you're not making your case better you're not gonna fucking convince me i don't fucking care that you enjoy this shit, okay just get the fuck away from me i don't fucking care to know that you enjoy this it doesn't make me satisfied that you come to me to proclaim to me how proud you are that you like this kind of content just get the fuck away from me but they ended up posting a bunch of clips of vosh and i guess this clip is one that they are particularly mad about because vosh like condemns lolicon content what is it about anime that attracts in this case, it's literally the pedophilia angle. It's that anime has a ton of f***ing lolly shit, and a ton of Nazis are hyper insecure in their masculinity, and they want like a trad wife or whatever, untainted by feminism, that they can control and manipulate because they have no other experiences. And anime is perfect for people with that kind of psychosis. A few moments later. And so here we have the clip of Vasha uh, basically just discovering uh, the, the lolly again, or not stumbling across it on his own computer, the stuff that he had saved. And it's basically just to say, like, here he was saying that people like anime because they're files uh right-wing people like anime because they're files and then here we have vosh stumbling across the same kind of content he was criticizing and calling disgusting so um i mean clearly it's not surprising here that this has kind of gotten him caught up uh and uh now people who don't like lolly are mad and people who do like lolly are mad because they're like one of us wait not one of us because he's been shitting on us for years to like morally posture against us so he's 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 really not pleasing either side of the aisle right now now destiny also has been tweeting about this quite a bit obviously because he has a history with vosh he doesn't like vosh and when he found out about it, he decided to tweet, Man, seems like it would be nice right now to have another large content creator friend. Too bad he's a backstabbing, childish piece of shit and has absolutely no friends in the streaming community. Crazy how that works. Enjoy your lollicon, horse fucker. And here we have a bunch of posts from Vosh complaining about someone named Ethan. Now, who is this Ethan that's uh, supposedly misrepresenting him and being mean to him and not giving Vosh a platform to defend himself? Well, that is none other than, of course, Ethan of H3H3 Productions, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming in clutch for us today. And uh, they decided to do an episode episode of H3 After Dark, where they actually covered the Vosh situation. Yo, <coughs> YouTube chat is filtering all of the, uh, horse, the corn? horse corn eggplant emoji combo. What? It's like getting hit.
hidden, auto hidden in the chat. I can see. What it. are they running defense for Vosh? What's the deal here? Maybe it's just too spammy with emojis. So that it's a secret language that we're finding out. Mods, about. if we if we could manually go through and show all of these. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what happened. And again, Voss fans, if you want to defend him, I'm going to be receptive to everything you're saying. I'm not here with an agenda. I'm just showing something funny that happened. Okay? But I will say this. What was on the agenda? This is what socialism does to a <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We love the socials. He's just a political commentator, right? So he's a, he's a political commentator. He's a leftist, a socialist. And uh, he is pretty popular in that space. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there's like probably three main political lefties, which is like Hassan, Vosh, and Destiny. Mm -hmm. So he's part of that trinity. He's one of the main guys. Got it. Not like mega popular because obviously it's a niche. Uh, yeah. Sure. But, but he's very popular in that space. I mean, his videos get hundreds of thousands of views, sometimes a million. Here it is. <laughs> you can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> the sound. now, is that how the stream ended? Uh, I'm not 100% <coughs> sure. A lot, when people were posting it on Twitter, that's how they labeled it. But um, I, I, I think it, if I remember, yeah, I think it cut to like a, a holding card, some mm -hmm. sort of static holding card for a moment, and then it ended <coughs> shortly after that. So one more time. Mm. <laughs> so this is see, how it this ended? This is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Oh! <laughs> that, that's a face of a man who knows. <laughs> well, oh, now, now, traditionally, we've caught conservatives in stash. It happened to um, Alex Jones, Alex and also Jones happened famously, to famously, yes, to uh, what's that other shit bag that was friends with Kanye Fuentes, they, right? They were both Did his had friends. Get... Yeah, Fuentes was looking at. Trans oh, there was trans thing with him too yeah i don't remember but, but yeah. so i was i was saying yesterday the Kids left loves hitler they <laughs> on the right they secretly they want to they're chasers i think they call them they want to be with trans women mm. right on the left they want to f horses <laughs> <laughs> well in this case it's not it's not just f***ing horses uh i believe vosh actually wants to be a horse who then has sex <laughs> with the the lolly anime girl although he can test that this is lolly he says that you know he could see why people think it is but he personally does not see it that way uh we'll let him explain it himself stuff is this or that okay i'll make it clear you can write this down i want to fuck a woman as a horse none of this is a secret i just to be clear you know many jokes have been made about this but i stand by it my moral principles are rock solid i'm I, my feet are firmly planted in the ground i've got my boots up they're planted what kind of childhood trauma must befall you to have your sexual proclivity be that you want to be a horse like i i just cannot fathom the the trauma that vosh must have gone through to 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 deserve this frankly i kind of feel bad for him because he must have gotten something horrible happening to him in his childhood maybe something involving a horse i honestly don't really want to know what it was uh but realistically like how do you even end up like this like whatever happened to like blowjobs or something like what what the fuck is wrong with that why does it have to be oh why do you have to be a horse dude why is everyone so sick like look you can you can be into whatever you want to okay uh, i mean not whatever you want to but you know i understand people have weird tastes and different things they're into you know what you know we're all we're all kind of a freak in some way maybe but like fucking a horse you want to be a horse that fucks? i guess in the drawing at least a little anime girl like what is wrong with you what what happened to you vosh who hurt you who hurt you to be clear this has been on the record for a long time i want to be a horse that has sex with a woman you're, you're also into like bestiality like like dude you're 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 you're, you're, you're there's something so wrong with you i don't I'm, i don't know how to fix you i don't know how to fix someone like this i truly don't firmly you you cannot move me from my position this isn't a secret uh, let's talk to a therapist well, why do you want to be the horse vosh because then i'd have a giant dick okay couldn't you have an, a, a big dick the other way well yeah i could like yeah i could have a big dick hypothetically in any variety of scenarios but then it wouldn't really be a horse dick. well you could be a human with a horse dick yeah Yes, but then I wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy using it. There you go. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's just, I, I, cannot, I cannot fathom how this guy is into that. But I mean, to his credit, he's kind of right. Like he never really hid that he was into the horse thing. I think the fact that it just like came up on stream, it was such a perfectly clippable moment in the fact that a lot of people think that there was lollies involved. I mean, that kind of all ties into the same thing, right? And now a lot of Vosh's past quote unquote pedo friendly posts are being spammed on Twitter. Like we see this one that says, the way I see it, the age of consent exists out of respect for the numerous power imbalances Balances older people have over younger people as those imbalances or at least some of them are redressed through the advent of socialism the age of consent therefore should be lowered i feel like this has to be out of context or like a just like a just a complete joke or something like there's no way he actually thinks that right after i kill the capitalist i 
their neglected spouse on top of their corpse and then the neglected children. Though the age of consent would probably be lower in a communist society. I mean, once again, I just I just don't understand. Like, surely these, I mean, some of them read as jokes. This one doesn't, on the top left, doesn't totally read as a joke, but <laughs> I guess I'm just praying it is. Like, I kind of want to give them some benefit of the doubt. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to see Hassan's private folder now. <laughs> we need to f get to the bottom. Uh, uh, but we all have secrets, don't we? So he, he panics, and it couldn't be funnier, frankly. You can see this is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I didn't get to see his face. It happens so quickly. Yeah, it does. It happens fast. So here is an enhanced version of the it's uh, the thing. I'm not. I obviously can't put this on screen, but Elo, I'll show it to you. Uh, so I'll describe it to you guys. So it's a folder. Oh, is this the super high res one that you found, uh, love? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so oh it's old. Oh yeah, you're, there's a there's a higher res one. Guys, I just found this leaked photo. Oh of Hassan. no, dude, no. Ha Hassan, <laughs> no. explain this oh, now. No. This is when he realized he was a socialist, <laughs> right here. <laughs> There's no such thing as a coincidence. Look at him on that horse, too. <laughs> Jesus, he looks, why does he look like he's like Persian royalty or something right here? Why does he look like he's the son of a, a multi-multi-billionaire? Really makes you think, doesn't it? Comfortable. The pussy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This motherfucker rode horses as a kid? I mean, we talked about it many times. Pony ass. <laughs> Pony express ass looking. <laughs> express. You you just uh, revealed that you're afraid of horses, right, Ethan? I'm not afraid of horses. I just think they're powerful. You, they 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 should be respected, not fucked around with. I, okay, yeah. I didn't. I mean, say that, I no, that's 100 percent fair and true. I said they are scary. Like if you you don't want to stand by mega. Here's the full. Okay, here you. Are. You know what I mean? So like, I don't be honest. Like uh, there was some what's referred to as a lolly. It's like a genre of hentai where. The girls are very young. That, yeah. was, that was mixed with the with the horse with the horses, yeah. How do those two go together? It does. It I does. don't know why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the horses were. It's just degeneracy all around. Degeneracy. So as we can see there, that's basically why Vosh was not too happy with him being represented on the H3 podcast. It's partially because they went through all the old clips that I just showed you guys of Vosh talking about like pedophilia and stuff like that. Well, but also because he called him like a degenerate for the lolly horse stuff, basically. And uh, yeah, I mean, Vosh is just not too happy. And I'll tell you who else isn't happy. It's Vosh's friends. Now, you may be wondering, who the f*** is friends with Vosh in current year? Like, who is hanging out with this guy? Who thinks so little of themselves that they would hang out with Vosh? The answer is Tipster and Keffels, my two favorite people. So here we have Keemstar tweeting out one of uh, Tipster's tweets saying, Damn it, at Vosh V, none of this would have happened if you would just watch corn on your phone like a normal person. Watch on your phone and never save, ever, lol. Uh, why is that your response? Why is your only response that, like, he should have hit it? Shouldn't you be kind of disturbed by what was actually there, or, like, shocked at all? But then again, Tipster is such a freak. Who knows what's on his phone? I wouldn't even dream of what's on this guy's hard drive. Honestly, I wouldn't. Tipster also said, genuinely disappointed seeing what H3H3 did to Vosh. You'd think after everything Hassan's community as well as others in the past have done to misrepresent Ethan, he wouldn't be so quick to do the same to others. Yet here we are. He even used the same out of context clips alt writers have used to defame Vosh time and time again. Whatever this is intended to be, there is one thing for sure this was not the move, and it was an extremely bad faith misrepresentation of Vosh. Tipster, why are you still even talking, bro? Okay? Don't you remember when I said, dog, if I was you, I'd probably end my whole sh. I still stand by that, okay? Nobody even cares what you have to fucking say. You don't have any critical thinking skills. You're a fucking moron. You, this is just some, this is, this is not even something that you would ever say out loud, okay? This is some, this is some bullshit that you saw on a fucking Discord server or in a comment section that you basically cobbled together and tweeted out to defend your loser friends because you've already lost all the other friends you had because you're a fucking dork, okay? So just, just shut up, okay? But why don't you start streaming from your phone so we can see what's on your hard drive, you sick now, Keffels also decided to respond, saying, I don't defend Vosh for clout. I have lost both financial and networking opportunities for being his friend. I defend him because he's a good person who more often than not is unfairly maligned by people who should know better. I disagree. I think Vosh is a pretty dishonest, slimy scumbag. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I just I just actually disagree. And I think it's objectively true, in my opinion, is, is on the right side of history. Uh, and the right side of history declares that Vosh is a fucking freak. Now, Nick says, yo, super unrelated, Clara, but you mentioned finances. Can we get that breakdown regarding how your GoFundMe was? and is being spent. For those who don't remember, Keffels raised $100,000 to supposedly go after the police department for misgendering her or something. And then it went nowhere. So, lol. 
But Ethan responded here saying, who are these people riding for, pun intended? Graphic drawings of a horse f***ing a child. Am I losing my mind? And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really blame Ethan here for feeling kind of out of his depth or losing his mind a little bit because, I mean, this is the kind of like community that he was, that he's dwelling into here, right? Like these, these people are not f***ing normal. These people are all strange. They don't have any semblance of normalcy. These are all like addict freaks who became a socialist because somebody told them to in f***ing Minecraft. Like these are people ethan also talked about anime in general on the stream ethan this is ethan what what age would you let your kids start watching anime i mean it depends on the anime um yeah like yeah. for like example Pokemon. like hunter hunter which is one of my favorite animes one of the things that i love so much about the show is they don't do any weird sexual stuff there's the one character no which one the one guy oh okay right there's yeah. a there is. <laughs> yeah, there's always a overall this has just been kind of a funny event to watch I mean, obviously I have a little bit of personal bias in this I think for good reason because of how I've seen uh, I've seen Vosh behave in regards to other streamers like destiny uh, And I think he really f***ed it up there and uh, uh, I'm really not beating the destiny glazing allegations with this one But <clears throat> I'll honestly take that in stride because you know I'm glazing him a little bit. I definitely am. It's also funny to see Ethan just come to terms with the fact that, like, every other leftist online is just a f***ing freak. Like, this is something he's having to realize time and time again. He had it happen with Hassan, who is not a lollicon, by the way. He's just, like, kind of a dense loser. Now it's happening with Vosh, who I don't think he's ever collaborated with. But I think this is one of the first times he's really talked about him. And uh, now Ethan's entire audience's impression of Vosh is that he's just, like, addicted to degenerate, degenerate drawings. Keffels is also being talked about by him in a very negative light, which is very funny. It feels like the chickens are kind of coming home to roost with all these bad leftists who have just been kind of shitting up the area for a long time. And now, finally, finally are getting what they deserve, which is to be owned by Ethan Klein. And uh, Ethan, you know what? Once again, gets another W. Uh, been getting a lot of those recently. Proud of you, big guy. Keep it up. Good moves. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts on all this. And I will catch you all in the next video tomorrow. Bye. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No,